Hi guys, welcome back. So I decided to film myself getting ready today because I'm getting ready to go out. So I thought why not just film it. And I also wanted to just play around with some new makeup that I picked up. Well, not picked up. I got it in the mail because I hate going to the mall or stores. So yeah, um, I'm going to be trying out the Tartlet palette today. Um, the Tartlet in Bloom. I know it's not that new, but I just got it. Um, I have the All Matte palette from them, and I love it. The shadows are so pigmented and super blendable, so I love it. So I picked that one up, and I also picked up the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. And I got it in the shade... Eight, golden neutral so this is what the packaging looks like so I guess it'll also be kind of like a first impression so yeah let's get started I don't want this video to be too long so I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox foundation primer first just to prime my face I always do this I always prime my face no matter what and I apologize if you hear you know car is honking in the back or if you hear kids my windows are open because it's super hot and we have a playground nearby so a lot of kids there and then the car is going by coming into the neighborhood so I apologize but I have no choice these lights are so bright so anyways I just put that primer all over my face now I'm just gonna move on to foundation actually no I'm just gonna do my brows first because I do let my foundation sit for a bit while I do my brows so I don't know why I said foundation first <laughs> so I'm just gonna be Filling in my brows with the Urban Decay eyeshadow. This is actually an eyeshadow, but I like filling my brows in with this. I think it's just the perfect color for myself. So this is in the shade Secret Service. So I'm just going to fill them in. Um, I think I'm just going to speed through this or just do it off camera. And then I will do a brow tutorial for you guys. I feel like when it comes to brows, it's all just personal preference if you like your brows thicker or if you like them more thinner I like them to be really thick but at the same time looking natural come back later on and um, set my brows with like a brow gel but Sometimes when I put my makeup on, like when I put my shadows on and all that, I don't, I sometimes I like to go back and maybe, you know, thicken my brows a little bit or make them a little bit darker, even though my brows are pretty dark, but I like to set them at the very end. Alright, so now moving on to foundation. So like I mentioned, I'm going to be trying the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. I've heard a lot of good reviews. Um about this foundation so I'm really excited to try it I also read it on the Sephora website and it has good reviews so yeah let me just read what it says in the back so you guys kind of get an idea about what this foundation claims to do so yeah so it says allergy tested 100% fragrance free we shall check that I don't know I didn't even open it yet moderate to full coverage natural matte finish so it does have a matte finish and I do have dry skin but I read that it gives you a dewy look even if you're oily you can still wear it. I mean well if you're oily you can of course wear it because it has a matte finish um, but even if you're dry you can still wear it because it gives a little bit of the dewiness so it's not too too matte so I think I should be fine because I do have dry skin um, but yeah so let's see uh, and also it says a foundation and concealer in one for a natural beyond perfected look that lasts all day lightweight moisturizing makeup covers thoroughly without clogging pores color stays true even though even through sweat and humidity so we shall try that it's really hot today 
maybe I will also kind of vlog and let you guys know how this foundation is lasting so we'll also see if it oxidizes or not because it does say color stays true so we'll check that then it says for complete coverage dot on all over face and blend use the unique applicator to spot conceal oil free okay so it sounds good. I'm excited. It says it's for dry combination to combination oily. So I think it, I should be fine because I don't have that that dry skin now. Like my skin is a lot better than it used to be. So I'm kind of in the middle. Kind of combo. Kind of dry. So I don't know. We'll see. So I'm just going to shake this foundation. I don't know if you're supposed to. But I'm going to. I always like to shake my foundation. So to make sure that everything is all blended and mixed in okay so oh yeah it has a applicator like this I saw this on the website it has an applicator like this so I kind of like the applicator I like it's gonna be a lot quicker you know you just dot it on like it said so I think that's what I'm gonna do I hope the color matches I'm not too sure I just guessed my color so yeah Okay, so I'm just going to dot it on. I don't know too much about the coverage, so I'm not sure how much to use, but we shall see. And this is one fluid ounce, it says on the box, yeah, one fluid ounce, so just like a regular It's, it's a thicker consistency, so it's not so liquidy, it's a little bit on the thicker side, so it means it's going to give you pretty good coverage. I'm going to use my Real Techniques sponge to just blend everything out, because I always use a sponge for my foundation and my concealer. color match is fine maybe I could have gone a little bit darker but I think once I put my you know bronzer and my contour I think I'll be fine but the coverage is really nice gives you a nice coverage I'm not too sure if it's buildable I'm just gonna drag it down just to try and match my neck full full coverage um, foundation but I'm okay with a medium coverage I don't I don't really um, like to layer on my foundation too much and I don't mind if it's not full full coverage but this is a really good coverage though for one layer it's nice now moving on I'm going to color correct right underneath my eyes go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the shade Sand. I love this concealer. It's one of my favorites. I also like the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. That one is really great as well. So these two are my top favorites from the drugstore. I really just in general when it comes to concealer. And then I'm just going to put some right underneath because it just makes my contour a lot better. I'm going to put some on my lids as well just to prime for the eyeshadows. I'm going to set my face and underneath my eyes of course with my NYC smooth skin loose face powder and this is in translucent I really really like this powder it's so affordable and it's great take my brush I can also use the beauty blender should I use the beauty blender yeah I'm actually gonna use my beauty blender instead so I'm just going to pick that up Got it. I 
like to let my um, powder sit for too long because it can look a little bit dry and cakey. Leave it on just for a bit and then I dust it off. So next for my eyes, I'm going to be using the Tartlet and Bloom palette right here. And I'm going to take a Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm going to dip into Smarty Pants and put this right into my crease, my upper crease. These shadows are so nice. They are really, really nice. They smell like chocolate. I think I, oh, I think I forgot to mention that. Oh, they smell so good. I just feel like eating them right now. So I'm just going to, and I love that they have a nice big mirror. It really helps. So I'm just putting this right into my crease. I honestly don't know what I am doing today, like what look I'm going for. I'm just doing whatever. Next, I'm gonna take the Sigma E, I think this is the E25. And I am going to take Rebel on this brush and I'm going to put this directly into the crease just to deepen it up a little bit. Like that. I'm just gonna kind of build the colors until I am happy with the result. I just love these shadows. They are so pigmented, so pretty. I love the colors. Okay, next I'm going to, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna take this Urban Decay brush. It came in the Vice palette. And I'm going into Leader, and I'm going to just deepen up the crease. So I'm just going to directly put this into the crease, just to deepen it up. I just want a nice smoky eye today, that's all. Go in with that same brush, the E25, and just start blending everything out. Because we don't want to have like really harsh lines. But then again, we don't want to blend too much either. skip wing liner today I mean it would look nice but I don't have time I'm gonna take a little bit of firecracker and just put this on my lid just right in the center just for a little bit of pop I'm actually also gonna take funny girl put this in the inner third I love funny girl this is really nice Trying to rush through everything now because I feel like I don't have too much time. So I am actually sensitive to the dual lash glue, the adhesive. Anyways, I'm still gonna have to use that because I haven't ordered my House of Lashes lash glue yet. I love that one. That's my favorite, just a favorite. Um, I'm gonna be using Red Cherry Lashes and this is in 415. I've never used this style, so let's see how they look. I don't know if I have to cut it. Your lashes are way too long. You need to cut it. <laughs> just kidding. I don't need to. Um, I'm fine. So I'm just going to add some glue to it. While that dries, I'm just going to move on to my face going to just contour and bronze up my face a little. So I'm taking the Kat Von D. Ooh, it's kind of broken in the middle. Ooh, it's kind of broken in the middle. I do have a backup, but I don't want to take it out. Um, okay, I'm going to take the middle shade, mix it in with the darker shade just a little bit. I don't want it too dark. And just contour. lip brush and I'm just gonna contour my nose real quick 
The key to putting on lashes is letting the glue dry for at least 30 seconds. It will make your life so much easier, trust me. Okay, so once the lashes are on, I'm going to coat them one more time with mascara. So that just blends with your natural lashes. First, I'm going to take my MAC powder. This is the Studio Fix powder in NC25. And I'm going to set right underneath the eyes. One more time. Because I like that full coverage right underneath the eyes and I just love how this makes your eye under eyes look so airbrushed and beautiful okay, now moving on to the lower lash line I'm going to go back to my tartlet palette and I am I think I'm gonna take a pencil brush I'm gonna take rebel and just connect it to the outer end as well and then smudge it down a little once that's done, I'm going to take the E25 blending brush, this is a clean one, and I'm just going to blend it further. Highlight with the matte finish in Soft and Gentle. And I'm going to use this highlighting brush, this is the Sephora Pro Contour brush number 74. I know it's for contouring, but I actually like it for highlight. I think you've got, you guys have seen me use this in my other videos. Once we are all highlighted and glowing, um, oh, I'm going to just highlight right underneath the brow bone. So I'm gonna take, I'm actually just gonna take Flower Child. I usually put a sparkly shadow underneath my brow bone, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna take my pencil brush and just. Make that line a little bit sharper. Take that same brush, the E25. Just go over it one more time. Now, moving on to the blush, I am going to be using Milani Luminoso. As always, I love this blush. So, I'm going to take my blush brush by Sonia Kashuk. I'm just going to blend everything out. For lips, I'm going to use Boldly Bear Lip Liner by MAC. And I'm going to take Gerard Cosmetics Nude Lipstick. On top of that, I just want to add a little bit of Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D. I feel like I never use just one lipstick. I always have to mix in something. Okay, so one thing I want to mention is this foundation is breaking right over here. It's breaking for me right over here. So I really don't know if it's going to last through this heat and all. But, yep, it already broke over here for me, right over here. So I'm just going to have to add a little bit more. Now, I don't know if it's the foundation or the concealer, but it has actually never happened to me before. So, because the concealer I've used for so long and it never gave me any problems. So now I'm putting the liquid over my powder right now, but I have no choice. I'm going to the powder one more time. So I will actually test out this foundation throughout the day. So it is currently 5.37 p.m. So I'm going to test out the foundation throughout the day. I don't know when I'm going to take off my makeup, but um, probably not till like later on. So I will test this foundation out, let you guys know how I feel about it and how it lasted on me. I will put that in the description box down below. Make sure you guys check that out if you are interested in this foundation and just wondering, you know, how it lasts throughout the day. And like I said, I do have kind of dry combination skin. It's more combination at the moment, but usually I am dry. Like I said earlier, it did break up a little over here, so I don't know if that's the foundation or the concealer, but I've used the concealer for years now, and I never had any issue with it, so I don't know. So I will I will see, like I can 
maybe look at the rest of the um, areas and see how it lasts so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me video I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one hey guys so this is the finished look I just changed and I put my hair up in this top knot bun I didn't know what to do with my hair and I don't think it even looks like a nice bun but I didn't know what else to do and I added this choker it's actually a bracelet but I just made it into a choker it's elastic -y, so yeah and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I will see you all in the next one Mwah.